What's up everyone, it's your boy Raps and uh, we're here today, it's been a long time and we're here today, Noldus 2.0 <coughs> versus Old School, a great wall, Noldus 142 to 39. Uh, both of them are amazing clans, so today I'm going to show you guys a few attacks from them, one of the best I thought, and uh, those are very interesting attacks. So let's start today on number 2, UNY, who was attacked by Big Bud. So Big Bud brought in a decent bow with strategy. You can see the giants being dropped in funnel, which is coming across. A couple bowlers on the uh, at nine o'clock and a couple bowlers at six o'clock as a funnel. Wreckers in, Grand Wardens in, and now the king and queen are also in. So you can see it's a very systematic entry, uh, normal entry. Now he's got so many free spells. That's what interests me. Makes take the most interest of this attack. Some great usage of free spells, you can see that. So he frees the Inferno, now he's gonna freeze the Architar. I think he meant to freeze the Expo, but he missed that. Regardless, it just did good. Now, I've seen the CC do some damage, the Queen and the King. This Ice Golem, this Ice Golem does tons of damage, it freezes, you can look at that. The Queen just got frozen, did some damage, but, but the good use of the free spell so that no damage was taken either wise. Another free spell, and uh, there goes the Eagle Artillery and the Expo. Witch is on the side, Bowl is on the side, pretty much a very good attack. He's used the Grand Modern ability, and uh, pretty much nothing that the base can do. Now, I found this base rather a good base. It was a well designed base, but I just find the base a little, you know, care to go to. Uh, it got destroyed by Bowitch, but I think the base would do good against air. The base would do probably good against hogs as well. So it was a good choice of attack. Uh, he did well against it and clearly well done from Big Butt. So you can see it's gonna finish up there. He's got very few structures left. That Inferno Tower could have been done, uh, could have caused some serious damage if not for the Queen who was still up with her ability. She's gonna pop that very soon there. Pretty much a very good attack, very well done, systematically done. And you can see four free spells. That was just a wonderful attack on this man. Amazing job from Big Bird and definitely old school putting themselves to get a really good clan. Alright, so next up we have Micromani going up against Nast A Homer. Uh kind of the same Bowwitch strategy, but on Town 10, believe me, the Bowwitch is tougher. So classic entry which is the funnel. You can see one of them coming around 10.30ish and one of them coming around, around 8 o'clock. P.E.K.K.A was the, uh, I, I don't understand how to use it, but a uh, lot of the use of the P.E.K.K.A, but I found the use rather surprisingly good. So, Wrecker comes in, Heroes come in. Good Funnel, I think, was the main reason why this attack worked. You can see the Funnel really playing a good role. And again, like the last attack, free spells, they come so handy in Bowwitch attacks. I like to call it the uh, freeze. Witch attack, frozen witch attack. Uh, I don't know that's what it's called probably. Now this CC, the ice golem dragon CC is a pretty good CC as well. And I just found that um, ice golems are really good because they can kind of stall you because of the freeze effect that they give. Uh, but this man, like Micromanage, did a wonderful job. In fact, the entire clan of old school did a job. Uh, they came fourth in the division for the first time playing in a league. And it kind of makes me very much proud for. Uh, them to a good job. Now you can see he, he waited for the entire time for the wall wrecker and when it, exactly when the internal in front of tower compartment you can see he dropped the rage, he dropped the heal, he released the wrecker and now there's almost nothing that can stop the bowlers. Bowlers on either side, king is left, queen is too but he almost five, four to five inches uh, around here 12 o'clock so it's a very good attack. You can see I'm telling you if the Wrecker had not reached the Inferno Tower compartment. Things could have gone differently, but I just found like now, right now, uh, he's just doing so well. He's, and there comes the uh, Queen ability. In fact, even if the Queen had not, had, really had not been saved, this could have gone other way around. But uh, again, Micromani is some great job. Uh, he just used the entire base, planned out the attack systematically. One corner builder had left, nothing much that can do. And what an attack from Micromani. Hats off to him. Uh, Archer Queen did a good job. The entire attack was good. I love the entry of the Pekka. Well done, Micromani. Alright, 
So next up we have Rumblebee. Anyways, Rumblebee coming up with the Queen Classic Lan uh, Laloonian. I don't know how to call it Laloon. Minions are going to call Laloon. So he's going to come up with the uh, entry of the heroes. Their basic motive right now is to just get the Queen. Because you can see the base is compact. Air sweepers are not are facing otherwise. The main reason for getting the uh, do this attack was you can see the air sweepers both pointing northwards, and there goes the enemy. Now there's not much of a uh, obstruction for the Walloon part of the attack, and you're gonna see it. There we go. So one of the main striking features of this attack was brilliant pathing of the uh, balloons. That played a very important role. Uh, the Lava Hounds definitely causing a good distraction. Now that they come, this, the third Lava Hound is going to go all across that air defense. Level 6 Balloons rage on the level 6 Balloons. 11 8 Balloons coming out of the Clan Castle. A few more Balloons back in. And you can see, when you remove the Queen and the airship is pointing otherwise, it's just not a tough part because there's nothing stalling the Balloons. Balloons don't have much of uh, obstruction and, wow, disrespectful heal. Just kidding. Uh, that's a good CJ had only up a heal. He just had too many balloons. And just showing his might with his on his base. Because that is one of the raid. When you've got so many level 8 balloons and level 6 balloons left, that is one hell of a raid, I gotta say. He's got more than enough minions left, lava pups left, and he's just he just, that's an amazing attack. Balloons are just gonna finish their way through, and you can look. He's got a haste that's still going on. And he's got minions on the north. Minions at 9 o'clock. He just that was just a perfect attack. Balloons are gonna finish up. They're gonna go for the king. No mercy for him. And overall a wonderful attack from will be. I I've seen a lot of these 9 minute attacks come out like this, but this is honestly how, how good as it looks. It's not an easy attack. I've seen people do it and it is tough, believe me. But he's in a wonderful job. Amazing stuff from him. And you can look, just wow. All right, now we're on the second side. Now, know this two pointer did some great attacks. We're gonna showcase them a great 12v12 and two amazing 10v10s. First of all, we've got um, Rebel of Rebel of Hell going up against Big Bud. So you can see the queens come in on the far uh, at three o'clock. Now, I love the use of the electro electro dragons. Such good funnel they create. Queen's basic motive again is to get a funnel, get the CC, get the queen, or enemy queen of course. And the balloon, the back end balloon you see, that's so much a good job. It just cleared two defenses. It's gonna take, get taken out soon, but still, wow. It just added to the cannons. And the Electro Dragons still have not been touched. They're so good. And they're gonna come in with their back end lightnings, which did not do much damage. But look at the funnel. That's 36 person just out of the Electric Dragons and the Queen. Queen's taken out the enemy Queen. She's created the final unit, and now you're gonna see the bowl, the bowl, bowl of heart coming in. Again, the use of Pekas. That surprised me. I like the use, and I found it real on of the dogs, but still, that is very smart use of Pekas. To, like, all the Pekas used to be a very vulnerable cube, if true, you guys remember. Uh, Tesla just, just get them like anything, but now with the P.E.K.K.A. is getting buffed Not a long time ago, but still So you can see, the Grand Warden Ability popped in One of the Inferno Towers is down, second of the back end of the tower is still there The Eagle Artillery also is gonna be taken out I think the Freeze was meant to somewhat also hit the Eagle Artillery, but he missed Nevertheless, the troops are within its unhittable range And it's just it's just havoc. The ice going from the CC is going to do some work. Uh, this attack has gone pretty good so far. A bowler is going to come in out. Now this is one of the features or one of the uh, parts of the attack that makes you worry because you don't want your troops always running around. Sometimes when this happens, there's too many defenses focused. However, this is where the electric dragons and the, that single bullet play the major part because three defenses on this side were taken out by just those two troops. One balloon to cap three defenses thanks to the electric dragon. And now you can see there's hardly any obstruction there. So just wonderful. The Grand Warden can do almost nothing. One arch tower does also nothing. Uh, number of bowlers left. Uh, Queen's up. King is up. 
oh, sorry, queens are up, king is up, grand warden is up, uh, just no structures left, and that is one one hell of an attack from level of hell. Uh, and 12v12s are never easy. They're probably one of the toughest attacks, and well done from level of hell. It's a very good attack, very well procedure, very well planned. Now, happy mini coming in. Now, this attack, I you've got to see this. Five peckers. Guys, I've not played the game for long, so this might be me lacking knowledge, but I just found this attack mind blowing. For real, this attack was amazing. Uh, Pekka's used to funnel, I have not done that ever, and I just found this wow. Pekka's used to funnel, just wow. Uh, Wrecker's gonna come in. I don't understand that. Why would the Wrecker go for that wall when he's got a clear path into the next wall? Anyways. Uh, so the Pekka's creating a funnel, you can see there's two Pekka's who were supposed to go in, they're gonna go in now. Bowler's coming in back, and King, Queen, Warden, there's the first raid, and the CC coming out. Not an ice golem CC, so I think he'd not worry about freezes as such, uh, for the CC, he's gonna use it later on. The second raid, both in front of towers in the same, same compartment, and I mean that just annihilates the front of towers, there's nothing left. Queen also is useless against 45 bowlers in the range queen. Uh, King's left. Now this is the interesting part. If you guys look at the top, there comes the back spell. They took out the infantiles like anything. The air defense, sorry. And you can look now. Freeze on the Tesla. The, those bats those bats are just unstoppable. They come, they just destroy stuff in in seconds. That expo is gone. Look at that. Mo there's nothing to stop them, just that one air defense, that's gonna also go, and now the bats are free, Pekka's, to look at the over how much overpower this way is, he's got about 10 bowlers left, he's got 2 Pekka's, or 3, probably 3 Pekka's, yeah 3 Pekka's, he's got bats left, he's got his queen with the ability, he's got archers, he's got a wizard, he's got everything in right, that's how good this attack is, one of the best attacks without doubt, uh, Amazing stuff. I gotta tell you, Happy Mini, uh, he just did a wonderful job uh, pulling out this attack. Five Pekkas, it still makes me wonder how he, how good an attack that is, but just amazing. Alright, next up we have a requested attack, Bladder. So, the person who told me, who told me to show up this attack said it was a great attack, and I have to Undoubtedly one of the most orthodox attacks, he's got Dragons, he's got Queen, uh, the Queen's come up top, should be seen in a second. And the final big games now, uh, there comes the Queen, the, dra the Baby Dragon on the top, missed that on the recording, but regardless. Anyways, the main attack starts now, Queen's gonna come in from top, I, she's got a main motive. She's gotta get out the air defense that's right next to her, and the clan castle. So that's just that's the main motive. King coming down, basically funnel and an air defense, and you can see he's gonna do exactly that. King's gonna get an air defense. So you can see the air defenses slowly have just disappeared from the map. He's got two air defenses left, and here comes the attack. He's got dragons, boats, and the siege machine. Now this siege machine, the air one, is a pretty interesting one because the target defenses, but it's in the air. So then some of the defenses just cannot hit it. One of the most interesting ones. Now you can see the third air defense are they gonna go down by the queen. Queen is gonna be valid and they're gonna kill them. What's left? We've got three spells and we've got dragons and we've got rich. He's literally got no, there's nothing to stop the attack. Absolutely nothing to stop. Multi multi infernos no. I can tell them no, dragons are too good for that. And there's a seed machine which has got even their troops don't know what they're there. And he's got a queen with full health. So he's got such a good attack plan now to let him drop the seed machine for going to go directly to the inferno tower. You can see the expos completely uh, distracted on the queen. There are four dragons left here. And uh, he's got the seed machine still up. Now there's nothing. There's one expo that can hit air troops. And in about two seconds, that's going to disappear. There. The Xbo's Xbo's gone. There is nothing to stop the attack. No, and there's no defenses as such. 
You can see how overpowered the siege machine is. Well. The siege machine just targets enemies. So if they're targeting, uh, and I meant air defenses, it meant defenses that are like the air. So you can see how overpowered this attack is. I mean, like, it was one of the best attacks in my opinion. He just used dragon, genie, balloon, and his simple thing. And one of the most memorable attacks, definitely something that I'm trying to remember. And hats off to know this 2.0 game coming from the one in the division. Congratulations, well played by both fans. And a uh, big hats off to them. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The comic here was just a little bit sloppy, but I hope you guys are mine for the first time. I'll get back onto it, and if you guys enjoyed the video, do not hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much for the opportunity. Again, this video, known this two point doing a great job, and so did uh, old school, both the clans. Just to show you why you're one of the top clans out there. GML, the German Midweek League, and thank you so much for the opportunity. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll be seeing you guys later.